Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently acknowledged a new security vulnerability in Windows, and apparently, according to Microsoft, this is known as Print Nightmare, and it's affecting your Windows printers and your printing in Windows. Now, according to Microsoft, this is a remote code execution vulnerability, and it affects the Windows Print Spooler, and the Windows Print Spooler is a service that runs in the background um, that is responsible for all your printing and printing jobs in the Windows operating system. And Microsoft said they are investigating this vulnerability and have offered a workaround from, you know, to protect you from being exploited by this vulnerability. So if we just pop over to the uh, security guard from Microsoft, we can see Windows Print Spooler Remote Code Execution Vulnerability, and it's CVE 20213527. Now, if we just quickly read the summary, Microsoft is aware of and investigating a remote code execution vulnerability that affects Windows Print Spooler and has assigned CVE 20213527 to this vulnerability. This is an evolving situation and we will update the CVE as more information is available. So this briefly just describes what it is. A remote code execution vulnerability exists, exists when the Windows Print Spooler service improperly uh, performs privileged file operations. An attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could run arbitrary code with system privileges. An attacker could then install programs, view, view change or delete data or create new accounts with full user rights. So it's quite a, you know, it's quite an important vulnerability that needs to be addressed. And basically they offer a workaround to this situation. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently and the easiest way I can offer this workaround, how I would do it personally, is I would just go to my search, typing services in the search, and this opens your background services uh, in Windows, and just scroll down to uh, print spooler. So we're looking for P, print spooler, here we go, there it is there, and it says this service uh, spools print jobs and handles interaction with the printer. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to double click on it and you can see startup type is automatic and what we're going to do is we're just going to go disabled and then we're going to stop the service and click apply okay and you will see here now print spooler is disabled but just be aware that if you disable this and it's not set to run automatically when um, your computer starts you won't be able to print in you know from windows or you know no printers will actually work and you won't be able to print now if we just carry on in the security guard we can see uh, that they say did the june 2021 update introduce this vulnerability these are frequently asked questions no that microsoft says it didn't and they say you strongly recommends installing the june 2021 update so it looks like the uh, quick solution to this is that you must make sure, as always, that your PC is up to date with the latest patches and cumulative updates when Microsoft rolls them out. And what specific roles are known by the affected to be affected by the vulnerability? Domain controllers are affected. Affected. We are still investigating if other types of roles are also affected. So at the moment, it looks like it's more for enterprise on large networks and not really aimed at the home user. But I'm just um, post in this video um, just to double check because if you have experienced anything you know out of sorts with your printing and your printer you could be um, affected by this security vulnerability but as it says here it's more for domain controllers and that is large networks and servers in enterprise corporations and it basically says here at the end we are still investigating we will make this information available soon so as I said if you have experienced any problems that have been mentioned just go and disable the print spooler service like i showed you and then just wait for a fix to be rolled out by microsoft so i just wanted to update you print nightmare this is a new uh, remote code execution vulnerability that is apparently now making its way into uh, domain networks um, um, at the moment but if you are a private home user you know if you suspect anything wrong just follow the steps that i've shown in this video so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one